back at Road America. We're gonna do this a second time. And hopefully this time we'll have a little bit better luck. Uh, but yeah, bike's all teched. Set up for tomorrow morning. We gotta practice in the morning. Uh, it's Friday. And then also have qualifying. It's looking like it's gonna be a little bit soggy for qualifying. So I wanna take practice one and get a, get a good feel for the bike now that we've got a race motor back in it. Uh, that's back fixed and uh, a little bit different suspension. So I want to take 30 minutes practice to get it dialed in because the first qualifying looks like it's going to be a wash uh, with the rain. So I don't have as much time as I normally would. And seeing as we only have one race this weekend, uh, with the limited time, every minute of track time is going to be really valuable. So I'm just going to take advantage of that uh, tomorrow and then set us up better for the uh, race uh, come Sunday. <laughs> Qualifying one, as you can see, bike is in tech. Uh, qualifying one was all right. We actually thought it was going to rain for this session, so the, initially the plan was not to go out because the forecast said it was going to be dumping rain. Luckily, we got 20 of the 30 minutes were dry, so uh, I ran out with Jackson Blackman and got some good laps in and uh, did some decent times. We ended up fourth. Uh, track wasn't very fast because it had rained earlier in the day, so uh, tomorrow on a better track will definitely go faster. But uh, I'm not going to complain with fourth. Kicking off day two. Day one ended not so bad, we ended up fourth. Uh, we definitely want to be further up towards the front, so today in qualifying too that we have coming up in a couple hours, we're gonna push and see if we can get on the front row for our uh, race tomorrow. Team hard at work, you can see uh, guys at A-Racer and Gene, my crew chief, uh, working out to make sure we have a good setup. Uh, we're gonna change a couple settings and make things a little bit different because I think the track's gonna be faster today now that it's warmer and there's more rubber down. Uh, since we had some rain, our session yesterday so things are looking good now it's just up to me the rider I mean I think the bikes set up set up pretty good and it's gonna be decent so uh, I've just got to get a get a good session in and make sure we uh, hit all our marks on our hot laps and uh, set us up well for race race one tomorrow
so wrapped up the second day. We only got on track one day for qualifying too. Finished in fifth place. Uh, we got out there and got an RA tow from Jackson one lap in them early, mid, like middle of the session or so, and then set our lap time when we were sitting P3 for a little bit, which is solid. And then after that, we just didn't have very good laps put together. So uh, I know we can go faster and improve our time, um, but the, the time sheet doesn't reflect that. And that's all right. Uh, you know, road to starting position is not too bad. And, uh, I think if we can just focus on getting a good start for the race, and then just trying to mix it up with those boys and just latch on the front, uh, then we can be there. But no excuses, you know, today we're gonna have fresh rubber on, track's gonna be the same for everybody, and uh, it's just gonna be about who wants it the most, so, and I really want it. Uh, so, we'll just get after it today, see if we can't get on the podium. Here we go. The lights go out. And they charge into this fast first turn. Luckily, they're starting about halfway down this front straightaway because the next lap around, they will be booking into that hard right. Yeah, Rocco got a great start. He's going to try and do the same, and he does. And now Badama pulls out again. There's a veteran. Oh, we got a Cooper oh. McDonald sandwich. And there goes Schultz driving around the outside. Good move. Oh, and you see Cooper not wanting to back out a good, uh, you know, exit. Luckily, they had that asphalt out there. This battle is going to get a lot more hotter now because because it's for the podium spot. Look at Teague Hobbs there up the inside and almost got into Hayden Schultz. That was a, that was a good pass and, a, yeah. you know, that's six tenths quicker than, whoa, than the whoa, whoa. best lap. Cooper before. McDonald is the last one in that group, and he said, it's time, but I've got to move up. There's a wall. Of okay. You know, any, any Winnie the Pooh references you got for me? You know, soon? Never mind. Here McDonald on the 20, Madonna on the 213, Schultz on that 259. You do see Tommy Comsuk mixing in. This is a four-rider battle. Comsuk for McDonald this time. I'm telling you, the guy that's leading out of that final turn, turn 14, will probably not be in front as they cross the checkered. Madama on the inside and driving on the outside is that Schultz. He's putting the pressure on McDonald. Here's another straightaway. We're going to see some drafting yeah, going now on. Yeah, now Toby Comsuk, he's right there in the middle of it. So. Uh Ooh, I like Schultz, Schultz. Outside. and he's going to get this drive, and, and you see a boat, a couple of riders oh. having to stand up, oh, what a save by Schultz, he still has time to regroup. That was a good save. Yes, Teague Hobbs takes over position, Hobbs, and oh, now Madama makes a mistake. Throw him to Carroll, I'm sure he's going to do a little knuckle bump there and congratulate him. Here's our race to the finish, it's a 79 to Hobbs, is that Schultz just behind him, Schultz trying to get in that drive, Hobbs made the one move that he can make, Schultz, Schultz has got to run. he's got the drive, and can Hobbs pull back out and try and do it again? No, Schultz takes third. Congratulations. It's his third career race and his first career podium. You had to work hard for this one. Talk me through that battle there at the end. Yeah, it was a, the battle for third was an absolute dogfight. I, I think at one point I got passed by five different dudes that were battling there. And uh, the last lap was, uh, it got a bit hairy. Everybody's trying to outbreak each other and everything. So uh, luckily I, I planned that right coming out of the last corner and was able to make a draft pass and uh, get third. And so. I'm just so stoked for my team. We've worked so hard. Um, I know uh, Gene, Gary, uh, Dink, everybody uh, back at the shop has been 
working overtime to make sure this bike was prepared and ready to go. And then uh, after the mishap we had at the first round where we had to resort to a stock motor, uh, coming back and getting some redemption feels really good. Uh, yeah, I just have to thank everybody that supported me. This uh, Brittenham Construction, Law Tigers, Hayden Schultz Racing, FC07 was working great. And, uh, and it worked out. It gave us just enough to get on the podium. So uh, we're not happy yet. We're not satisfied. We're going to be hunting for more. So uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season, see if we can't close the gap of these front two first. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations, Bubba. Great run. And yeah, it was a little hit. Well, it's not the top of the step, but it's progress. We got P3 today. Uh, first podium in since 2015, so it's been almost five years. So this feels really good, especially as, as long as this was and how hard we've worked over the last, you know, six, seven, eight months to get here. Um, to get some redemption after last round and at least get on the box was awesome. It was such a hard fought battle too. I mean, I'm gonna go back and watch this and be like, holy cow, like, there's so many passes back and forth and uh, I just planned that one right and uh, managed to make a draft pass at the end there to, to get third. So, um, this weekend can't ask for much more. We're gonna come back next round more prepared and uh, be raring to go and hoping to uh, get a little bit further up.